Fortnite vans and figure fans. We have here the abstract figure. I don't know a lot about Fortnite, but hey, it's a figure that I like and it's a toy, so I need it. Abstract stands around almost five inches because you know, Mezco six and here's five. And it's just a little short, but you know, it's a great looking figure, great paint apps, a great sculpt, and you know, just the tiny little features that it has. It's just a great figure for the price overall, too. But yeah, let's get this review going. A close-up of Abstract, you can see here that he has a lot of great paint apps. The little splashes of paint are something that is part of his character from what I googled. <laughs> but, you know, overall, it, it's a nice sculpt. I'm really liking how the pants have a real wrinkle effect here that you can actually touch as a groove. And then the pants are like flat gray but with a little sheeting on the side. And then some of the areas are just like, you know, flat paint but it still has some little shades various. But overall, it's a great looking figure. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging the hat. Unfortunately, you can't take off the hat, which is a real bummer. And then of course, the hoodie piece here is not actually removable. You have to pull it up. You have to cut that little area there just to get it to, you know, off, which is a bummer. But, you know, it's a little slight mod that you can actually do yourself. And if you ever want to put it back on, you can always glue it. I'm really liking how the rubbery tips here are really nice. And the shoe area here has like the tongue. It's really soft as well, which is really nice because you don't want to damage the paint just trying to push it. After that, it comes with quite a few accessories. The first one is the handgun with a silencer, which has a nice design of sculpt work and paint. I'm really liking the metallic look here. And then, of course, you get another weapon, which is a sniper rifle, and this thing looks amazing. I, I know it has a little tunish feeling, you know, like, oh, it looks kind of cartoony. Well, you know, that's how Fortnite looks, but if you were to do some you know, hardcore paint work, you can make it look more like a soldier weapon. Then of course you get his backpack and this thing is kind of a letdown because you know I feel like the socket here is way too long because you try to plug in the back of his little hole here it literally sticks out a little but I mean it's not bad I guess it's enough to rotate it without no problems at all. But while you get a little sculpt on the zipper and you got the little spray cans and you got his little gas mask here or air mask sorry. And then of course another good accessory is the balloon. I'm really digging this. I like how it's not even like the weight is not really affecting because it's really light here and then most of the weight is down here. You can go this far and not even falling. You can go this far, not even a problem. Really great piece here. I can see a lot of IT fans here. <laughs> then of course you get his pickaxe or pick tool which is like a paintbrush and then it has a little crowbar here. Nice cold work. Really digging it. It doesn't really rotate here, it's just stuck there, but really nice. Another piece of accessory is his air mask, and this actually came with the figure, so I have to take it off. But you know, it's a really quick and simple put it in, put it out. All you gotta do is just open it a little, just because you don't want to open it too much because then it might crack, and then you just tuck it in his mouth, and there you go. Looks like he got caught. But I really like the sculpt design of this. It's really nice looking. I mean, the paint kind of rubs on the hoodie piece internally because you can see here that it's a little white. And then if you look at the hoodie, you can see here it's a little metallic look. Now it's not, it's not so obvious, but it's gonna. I feel like down the line, it's gonna get a little bit more damaged. And then of course you get two face plates, which are very identical. This is the one that actually came with the figure. I swapped it out to the other expression, which is right here. I'm really digging this expression. He has high eyebrows and you know, you can see a little eye tire right there. But the other two face plates, they're very similar. I mean, I don't know if I have a defect. I looked at the listing and they have the same face. I mean, the only difference I can see is maybe a little bit half longer eyebrows on this one and short eyebrows on this one. Now swapping out the faceplate, it's really simple since, you know, for Jasper it doesn't really make head swaps, you have to use the faceplate swaps. So pretty much you're going to see a little line here, and since he has a hat, it's a little bit tricky, so you're going to have to pull from the jawline, pop it out, you can see the socket joint, and then you put in the no neutral face, and you click in, no problem at all. Now you just go comparison with the handgun with abstract, you can see here's, um, the only problem I see is that the handgun doesn't really clip in well with the just the hand joint and it's because you know it has the little feature where you don't swap hands but you actually just squeeze the hand in and for some reason I don't know if it's mine is just loose or it's just a little gripe but you know, I can't squeeze the finger in the trigger finger in there it's just a little tucked in in there but overall it doesn't get loose at all now I'll put in the sniper rifle pretty much the same thing you clip it in there and it stays 
that's how it scales with the sniper rifle. Now as we're putting the balloon, what you gotta do is make sure that you actually stick the balloon hole in the little rope area hole inside the hat and stays in with no problem at all. See here, not even loose. Now as our abstract head articulation, he has some ranges, but since he has the hoodie piece on, he's very limited on that area. Like for example, he can, he can tilt this far left, tilt that far right, look down this much. And I have to use the hat a lot because, you know, I have big fingers, so I can't really stick it in there, keep pushing the head down. And then as we're backing the head up, you can push a bit this far up. So unfortunately, you know, this hoodie piece you can't take off. So, you know, you're gonna have to get used to just knowing that your advantage is going left and right is that far. It's pretty much just like a quarter corner view. Now it's our right articulation. You can go this far down, you can go this far back. And as for tilting, tilt this far left and tilt that far right. Now it's our arm articulation. You can go kind of far up. I mean, here a click and that's pretty much the limit. You can go that far down. And you can see here that there's a visible die guy, die guy space here. So, which is a real bummer because you can't really push the arm down. You gotta twist it and maybe go like that, but it looks like you're tucking in. And of course, as for butterfly joints, you kind of have something there. You can go this far forward and that far back. Now it's raising your arms, you can go this far up. And then as for arm swivel, you can rotate with no problems. You do have double jointed elbows, so heck yeah. And then as for hand swivels, you got that perfect hand rotation, no issues at all. And you have the clampy hands, pretty much the whole toy biz hands where, you know, you don't swap hands, but you actually just squeeze the hands. Now as for leg articulation, he has plenty of it. He can go this far down, do the Van Damme splits, no problems. And they can kick this far up with no problems. He pretty much stays right here near the crotch area. And then as we're kicking back, it really stops right there. So you have to rely on, you know, using the thigh swivel and just to kick it back more. And then you have double jointed knees, which is really great, but you can't touch the back or yeah, you can. We gotta tilt it all the way over here. Now as for thigh swivel, you can twist it around with no problems at all. And the only gripe here I do see is the ankle pivot. The ankle pivot, it doesn't like easily rotate, like, you know, bend to the left or bend to the right. You have to like twist the ball joint here, kind of like how Mattel has theirs. So, you know, it looks like he broke his leg, which is uh, kind of annoying. But overall, you know, he still has ankle pivot. You might need to do a little mod to fix, fix that problem. Now, as for toe pivot, you do have it. You can go this far up and this far down. As for kicking the feet, you can kick this far up and that far down and this is really nice i really like how this is rubbery so you know it won't affect the paint now as for scope comparison you can see here it actually stands really good with other lines we got here the mezco batman we got here another fortnite jasper figure and of course marvel legend scarlet spider so overall jasper did a great job on this figure i mean i have my little gripes there but this is a 20 dollars figure and you know it's not that big of a problem just a complaint with the face plates and the arm articulation could be better. You know, you, you're very limited on how far you can go up and how far you can go down. And you have it like the invisible thunder die space, but you know, you get a great amount of accessories, you get a great paint, great articulation, and of course, you get an awkward expression. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below and I'll do my best to respond back. And like always, thanks for watching and take care.